Hello, I am looking for Rory. Stand in. Can. This is a surprise. I was around and I thought that uh, I should have come. I'm sorry. I will go. No, Carmen. Come in. It's good to see you. Please. Oh, I forgot to get some spoons. No, it's okay. She doesn't take sugar. I'm just going to be down in the study. I need to send off some emails. Pues qué pasa. Supongo que no habrás venido solo a verme. Es una buena mujer. ¿Cuánto tiempo lleváis? Seis meses, tal vez siete. ¿Cómo está Richard? ¿Te enteraste del accidente? Sí. Jennifer me lo contó. Sé que no tenía que haber venido, pero no sabes la falta que me hace un amigo ahora. Lo siento, Carmen. No podía. No espero nada, Rory. Pero de verdad, no tengo a nadie más. Necesito tu ayuda. Gracias, Rory. Eres un buen amigo. I'll let you know how we get on, okay? Eres feliz, Rory. Feliz yo. Más feliz que tú, parece. appointment. I'm not going. Please. Carmen, we've had this conversation. I can't. Four months ago was the accident. There was a crash and the car went in flame. When they got Richard out, he has First degree burns, too much in his body and a part of his face. That's awful. They prepared me for the worst. He pulled through, at least his body. He has a scar, but the word scar are in his mind. He waits until I am asleep because he comes to bed. He won't let me touch him. He won't let me see the side of his face. Where is the scar? He thinks that I don't love him no more. He says that I I with him for pity. It is not true. Of course I love him. It seems to me that Richard is suffering from some post-traumatic stress-related disorder. He, he could really use some professional help. Yeah, I know, but the, uh, 
he will not listen. Perhaps you are the wrong person to convince him to seek that help. Maybe you're too close. Does he have any other friends or, or family that can talk to him? Yeah. This morning when uh, when Richard told me that he, he will not come, I went to the house of the guy uh, who was his best friend. And he's agreed to call Richard while I'm here. You said was. Because Richard and Roy are no longer friends. You know, before Richard and I fell in love, I was engaged to be married with Rory. Oh. Hello? It's me. Rory. Yeah. She called you. Yeah, just shows how desperate she is, doesn't it? Look, Rory, you might not notice and it probably doesn't mean anything to you, but not a day goes by that I don't wish that I could take back what I did to you. Especially now, but I can't. But what I can do is... I can try and make sure that Carmen doesn't screw up what's left of her life with what's left of me. Do you sound pathetic? Listen, and listen good. There's a part of me that will always consider you a backstabbing bastard. Now fortunately, I've met somebody else. And maybe I should be big enough to forgive and forget. But I'm not. But Carmen, I would have done anything for her. And you at least could do the same. You don't understand, but... Thanks. Don't thank me. I told her I'd call you. Goodbye. Do you think he got through to him? I don't know. And since the accident, you've become this caring figure, which, in his mind, implies pity. Mm. Therefore, if you begin to rekindle the passion the romance, mm. it should rekindle the love. For our anniversary last year, my wife organized a very special dinner. Here we are. So, uh, <coughs> how much do these guys cost? Richard, please, try to enjoy it, okay? Madam? A personal variation on the Mexican classic. Both paprika and the chipotle chili are world-renowned for their aphrodisiac qualities. Enjoy. Are you supposed to eat this with a fork or a spoon? Hot, huh? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty hot, but pretty tasty too. Wow, that's some scar. How'd you get that? Um, car accident. Must have been some smash up. Does it go all the way down? Can you leave us alone, please, for a moment? Sure, I'll go fix dessert. Thank you. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'll bother with dessert. I've been so stupid. I thought it was me. I thought that you didn't believe that I love you. But you know what? It's got nothing to do with this. It's not about whether I love you or not. It's about how much you hate yourself. You choose me over your best friend. 
And I think this has grown inside you like a poison, a cancer. And that scar is just a picture of what you have been seeing inside yourself all along. The question here is not whether I love you or not. The question is whether you have enough room inside you with all that hate of yourself to love me.